Hi there. Welcome to Medical Microbiology. Today, we will learn about some historical discoveries in microbiology. These discoveries include biogenesis theory, the germ theory, microscopy, scientific method, uh, microbiolo microbiological technique, vaccination, nosocomial disease, septic technique, and sterilization. We start with the biogenesis theory and the germ theory. Both theories were formulated by Louis Pasteur. The biogenesis theory disproved the doctrine of spontaneous generation. Now, what is biogenesis theory? This is the theory that states that life is coming from previous life. And this theory disproved the spontaneous generation that man's and life is coming from non-living. The second theory, the, the gen theory, states that infection is caused by germ or microorganism. However, Louis Pasteur at that time unable to prove the germ theory because he did not have the equipment to prove his theory. The next discovery is discovery of microscopes. The first microscope was developed by Anthony van Leeuwenhoek. He made a single lens microscope to observe microbes. So basically, Anthony van Leeuwenhoek was the first person that observed the microbes. He was also known as the father of microbiology. The development of microscope by Anthony van Leeuwenhoek marked the era of microbiology. So after his creation, then microbiology have been developed so fast. The next discovery is microbial technique. This technique was developed by Robert Koch. He was the one that also uh, culture uh, bacteria. He was the first scientist who make a pure culture of bacteria. Okay. And this scientist was the one that proved the germ theory. So he was able to prove that infections is caused by microbes or germs. The technique that he used to support the germ theory is called the Koch postulate. Now, what is Koch postulate? Koch postulate is a series of experimental steps that verified the germ theory. What is the first step? So the first step 
is he take the germ from the patient so all the patient that have the same disease will have the same pathogen so therefore he take the sample from each patient after that he isolate the pathogens into the pure culture in the lab so he developed the pure culture of this pathogen in the lab the next step that pathogen will be reproduced in the lab and then he put the pathogens or the germ into test animal right? or experimental host usually using animal the next step then he isolate the pathogen from the test animal and then he identify that the same pathogens is actually found in that host animal and these pathogens will be the same as the pathogen that presents in patient okay, in the patient so this postulate or this experimental step prove that the infection is caused by germ or microorganism the next discovery is vaccination edward jenner was the pioneer of the vaccinations he created a vaccine which is a small a small fox vaccine and this vaccine become the first world vaccine this first vaccines was developed from cowpox okay so cowpox is a type of virus that infect cow the name of the virus is variola vaccinae that's the reason why the name of vaccine is actually coming from the name of this virus that infect cox it's a cow it's called the cowpox as we know that now the smallpox is considered as the disease that has been eradicated in this world by vaccination effort so vaccination works the next discovery is discovery of nosocomial diseases okay, so what is nosocomial disease this is the disease that people get when they staying in the hospital so basically hospital is the place where some people get a new disease from other patient so this discovery was started by observations okay, done by oliver wendell he observed that mothers of home birth has fewer infection compared to mother that give birth in the hospital okay so mother that give birth in hospital they actually carry disease from the hospital right? so they get disease when they are staying in the hospital and then dr ignaz semelweis correlate this disease eh, with the infection that actually carried by the physicians 
that coming from autopsy room to the maternity ward. So Ignace Semmelweis proof or observe that the doctor actually transferred the disease from one patient to another patient. So this is what we call the nosocomial disease. From that observation, then coming the next discovery, which is discovery of aseptic technique. This is the technique that was developed by Joseph Lister. So he introduced the technique to prevent infections in hospital. So this is in hospital setting. So basically, Joseph Lister introduced the technique for doctors and nurses when they dealing with patient. So this technique is called the aseptic technique. The next discovery is discovery of sterilization. This was started by observation of John Tyndall and Ferdinand Kahn. Okay. They found that there were a type of microbes that actually very resistant to control, to cleaning, for example. So they still strive, they still grow, even though the place maybe has been clean with some disinfectants. Okay. So they call this structure that is very resistant to the controlling agents or chemical that used for cleaning is called the endospores. So endospores is the highest resistant type of microbes. This is actually part of bacteria structure. By finding this, it actually give the idea to other scientists to develop what we call the sterilization technique. Sterilization technique is the technique that will remove all type of microbes, including the highest resistant one, which is the endospore. Example of sterilization is using autoclave. So autoclave used for sterilization to kill or destroy any type of microbes, including the highest resistant, which is the endospore. I think that's enough for discoveries in microbiology. We will meet again on the next lecture. Goodbye.